Okay, I want to talk to you about two things that have been fulfilled. All right, the one one is Jesus said that he'd be a long time in coming, and he's fulfilling that right now. Every time I think World War Three is about to go down, it just it's taking a long time, and if this is an indicator that World War III is coming. Every time I've set a lot of dates, and every single time I've set a date, something significant has happened on that date. Okay, so for example, the Lord told me two weeks, and then I looked it up. It ended up being November 4th. I had never heard of this Antifa uprising. Then when I Googled it, boom, I find out that's what God's talking about. Then the 11th, I set that as a date. That was the day that um, Trump, well, right after the 4th, on the 5th of November, 2017, Trump started his Asia visit. Now, why is he going to Asia? He's going to go that he went there to try to negotiate a World War III. Putin, can I please nuke or attack North Korea? Or can we do something? Else? And Jinping, hey, Donald Trump was went is going to Asia to talk to Jinping and Putin to try to see if he can <laughs> get some leverage over North Korea. You don't see that, that's your fault. Then November 11th begins, or has begun, drills in the region of North Korea. Okay, with three carrier strike groups. Now, where's the USS Carl Vinson? I would argue that it's been sunk. Now there's a prophet, Sundar Singh, that said that he saw a vision of it. And I'll put the video in the link if I can find it. Watch this video. Now, I only saw... Listen, here's the thing. I, God reveals things to me, okay? And then I find out that God's revealed the same thing to other people on YouTube or, or the news confirms things that I've seen or God has shown me, okay? So, 99% of the stuff that I talk about on this YouTube channel... I hear from God, and then I speak on it, and sometimes I misinterpret what God is saying. Okay, of course. Just like so many people misinterpret the Bible. But here's the thing. Even though nothing happened on November 11th, and nothing happened September 2015, September 2017, nothing happened, nothing happened. But if you look at everything that's been going on, for some reason, things didn't suddenly reverse, and the tension with North Korea never disappeared. That tension is still there, that international tension. Now, how come we never see any more news reports about Iranian gunships harassing Navy vessels in the Persian Gulf? How come that's never on the news anymore? What happened to our Navy in the Persian Gulf? I'm just saying, somebody needs to find out, because... You need to look at what the prophecy was from this guy Sundar. I think it's Sundar Singh or something like that. He, anyway, I only just recently found this guy on YouTube, and a lot of the things he says confirms what the Holy Spirit shows me. So I like it. The other thing is, after World War III, there's going to be great miracles and signs and wonders. And everybody who's expecting the rapture to happen, guess what? The Lord is going to be a long time in coming. In the same way that, I, that the Lord showed me World War III back in 2014, and now it's years later, literally, and we're seeing everything come to pass, and it's coming to pass very slowly. Well, guess what? After World War III, it could be months before the Mark of the Beast comes out. And remember, the rapture doesn't happen until after the mark of the beast. It could be a year and a half, two years after the mark of the beast comes out of great persecution because the Bible says that the bridegroom will be a long time in coming and what's happening right now with North Korea and the tension building with Russia, China, and North Korea and how I've seen it for many years and that tension is just, it's just, it's taking forever to happen. And it's only just a fulfillment of God's word in Matthew 25. So I just, and then the second thing that's fulfilled is I don't know if you saw what Donald Trump just had a conversation with Jinping of China. And Jinping of China said, We are the descendants of the dragon. 
And now I've been saying Revelation chapter 13, where it says uh, the, the beast rises out of the sea, had feet of a bear, that's Russia, and the dragon gave the beast its power. The dragon is China, and the power it gives is economic power. Well, confirmation, that's come to pass. So two things this video is about is one, Jesus is a long time in coming. And two, um, and so, and wait, Jesus is a long time in coming, and keep that in mind for after World War III happens. And then when the mark of the beast comes out, people are going to be saying, oh, the rapture, the rapture is going to happen any minute. And you're going to be waiting and waiting and waiting because the Bible says he's a long time in coming. And if you've noticed how God's working very slowly. And I've been having, causing me to suffer in the flesh because I keep thinking it's going to happen November 4th. Then it doesn't happen. I was thinking it was going to happen. Uh, World War III is going to happen uh, November 8th, 2016 or 10th, right after the election. So keep your heart right with God. Okay, and, and, oh gee, November 11th came and went and nothing happened. November 4th came and went and nothing happened. Are you kidding me? The tension didn't go away, though. I thought, okay, Trump's going to Asia. He's going to go negotiate us out of this thing, and then, we're, and then all of a sudden everything's going to be diffused. It's not. And it's not going to happen. Things are not going to be diffused. It's going to eventually happen exactly as is written in God's Word. So the second thing is, the first thing is, Jesus is a long time in coming. The second thing is, Xi Jinping just confessed that they are the descendants of the dragon, meaning China is the dragon of Revelation chapter 13 and Revelation chapter 12, the enormous red dragon that launches stars from its tail. Those stars are nuclear missiles. And then there was one more thing that the Lord was showing me, and it's Revelation 17, and I'm going to go there real quick. I try to keep my videos short, but they, it's already seven minutes in. But Revelation chapter, uh, I believe it's 17, where if you go there, um, oh good, I'm already there. Verse 12, it talks about how the Antichrist, government and regime of the Antichrist, the ten leaders come to power in one hour. And then it says, um... In 1717, Revelation 1717, for God has put it into their hearts to accomplish his purpose by agreeing to hand over the to the beast their royal power and authority until God's words are fulfilled. In other words, God has put it in their heart to destroy America, and there's no going back, there's no stopping it. Kim Jong-un, Putin, the Ayatollah. And China, the leader of China, Xi Jinping, all of them, it's in their heart and God has put it into them to fulfill God's word, the sixth seal, World War III, the sky rolled up like a scroll, and at the end of it, no wind, then the beast comes out of the sea, a USA invasion, and all the prophecies that you see coming to pass exactly as God says, and exactly as is written in God's word. So the mark of the beast comes out. World War III happens, then the mark of the beast comes out, then there's great persecution, then the rapture. And you'll find out if you don't believe me. Start to share my videos. Please tell people it's going to happen exactly as is written in God's Word. Go back and watch some of my videos, share my videos, and hey, keep your heart right with God. And remember, you who are lukewarm, God's going to vomit you up, and the foolish virgins fall away from the faith just before the bridegroom comes. So once saved, always saved, you're going to have to explain why the foolish virgins missed the bridegroom. And there's no salvation after the rapture. Only the 144,000 are sealed and walk this earth as prophets of God. But everyone else comes under attack from the locust with the sting of a scorpion. Revelation chapter 9, verse 5, 6, and 7. So get your heart right with God. In Jesus' name.